So here the changes which occur in chromosomes, they are called chromosomal mutations. Yes, sir. So here if you take the changes in chromosome number, so we'll discuss with chromosome number. Okay. Every organism is having a specific chromosome number. Just if you take humans. In humans, cell is having 46 chromosomes. 46 chromosomes. Okay. Suppose if the chromosome number is not 46. Okay. Suppose if the chromosome number is 45. One is less. Or Sorry, in two months. Okay. If the chromosome number is... Uh, less or more so there should be how many 46 chromosomes in human 46 but if the chromosome number is less or more that is whether it is 45 or 47 Okay. Yes. So it is called Anuploidy. Anuploidy. Yeah. If the chromosome number is not exactly forty six, whether it is less or more. Sir, what is aneuploidy? Aneuploidy means, suppose if the chromosome number is less or more. Yes, sir. Okay. Then it is called? Less and more. Aneuploidy. Suppose if the chromosome number is double, double means ninety two. Okay. Yes, sir. It is triple. Triple means forty six into three. One thirty-eight, but it's double or triple. Okay. So this condition is called polyploidy. Forty-six double is ninety-two. Sir, but ninety-two and one hundred thirty-eight से ज़्यादा भी हो सकता है, कम भी हो सकता है ना? हाँ, नहीं, नहीं, नहीं. Here, if it is double, triple, four times, five times, you can take four times also. You can take. So you can take uh, 46 into 4. Okay. 46 into 4 means 6 4 is 24, 4 4 is 16, 
uh, how much it will come uh, um, six four zero twenty four two one eighty four. Okay. Yes, sir. It may be like this also. It may be continuing. Okay. So this is called polyploidy. Polyploidy, yes, sir. Okay. Polyploidy means the chromosome number is double, double and triple. Ah, uh, four times, five times, whatever it is, it is called polyploidy. Okay. Yes. If the chromosome number is less or, or more. more, like 45, 47, like this, it is called anu. Okay. So, yes, what is meant by aneuploidy and what is meant by polyploidy? Okay. You understood? Yes, sir. So here we will discuss uh, examples of unemployed. We will discuss examples of unemployed. Where chromosome number is Less of so in this we have uh, some human examples. Yes. If the chromosome number is less or more, it is a disorder. We don't think chromosome number is more means we are more uh, strong. Okay. The yes, sir is not exactly 46 or it is less than 46 or more than 46 it is a disorder okay yes okay the first uh, one is called Down syndrome. Okay. Down syndrome means syndrome means group of symptoms. Yes, sir. A syndrome means not one symptom. There will be many symptoms. So there will be uh, many symptoms. So the syndrome name is Down syndrome. Sir, what is Down syndrome? Yeah, I will tell you. What is this Down syndrome? I will tell you. Okay. Yes, sir. Here, in humans, there are uh, twenty-three pairs of chromosomes. Okay, or you can write forty-six. Twenty-three pairs or forty-six means same. Okay. Yes, sir. So here if you take the 21st pair of the chromosome, a pair means how many will be there? Sir, pair means... Uh, two will be there. Two, yes, sir. Okay. A pair means two will be there. So in the 21st chromosome, there should be Two chromosomes. But 
here there will be three chromosomes so how yeah why there will be three chromosomes is so during cell division i think i explained about meiosis yes sir okay in meiosis i explained about a stage called in a phase, a phase one Right. In another phase one, what happens is the paired chromosomes will get separated. So before another phase, the chromosomes will be like this. Okay. In another phase one, what happens is this chromosome will go to this end. This chromosome will go to this end. That means. chromosomes get separated okay yes sir and this separation of chromosomes is called this junction this process is called this junction this junction okay. so this process is called this junction okay if this junction does not take properly suppose if this junction does not occur properly okay yes what will happen is sometimes both the chromosomes will go to one end actually one chromosome should go to one end other chromosome should go to one end one end but here what happens is both chromosomes will go to one end both will go to one end so instead of getting one they will get two okay. so this is called this if disjunction does not take place properly If this junction does not occur properly. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sir, please repeat. Yeah, I'll repeat once again. Okay. Yes. In sir. this, there is a phase called you know phase one. Yes, sir. So during you know phase one, the chromosomes separate. what happens is the chromosomes will separate yes okay so chromosome separate means one chromosome will go to one end other chromosome will go to one end this is normal process which happens yes sir okay but if the chromosomes that do not separate properly Does not separate properly means if suppose if both the chromosomes goes to one end. Okay. Suppose if these two chromosomes instead of going to one end, one end, they both will go to this end. Yes, sir. Okay. So instead of getting one, how many they are getting? Two. 
normally they should get one but here how many they are getting two okay sir this is due to improper disjunction yes sir okay due to improper disjunction will get like this instead of getting two pairs you get instead of getting two chromosomes you get three sir so one okay instead of 21st pair instead of having two chromosomes it will have three chromosomes yes sir okay so due to this improper disjunction due to this improper disjunction so this will happen that is this means the chromosome number will differ okay yes sir so in uh, down syndrome what will happen is 21st pair of chromosome will have three chromosomes instead of having uh, three chromosomes uh, two chromosomes it will have two chromosomes Normally, instead of two, it is having three chromosomes. Okay. So when it is having uh, uh, three chromosomes, here uh, instead of in a pair, instead of two, we are having three. Three chromosomes. Okay. Due to these three chromosomes. Due to these three chromosomes, the the person who is suffering with this uh, Down syndrome, he will show some symptoms. One extra chromosome. He will show some symptoms. like uh, they are short okay. so they are short they will have small round head okay yes sir and they will have furrowed tongue Sir, furrowed yes. means. Ah, uh, furrowed tongue means generally our tongue will be like this. Okay, but the person's tongue will be like this. Yes, sir. Okay, and the brain is. under the under developed means not completely developed if the brain is not completely developed okay yes sir and short stature
Sir, here short stretched means. Yeah, short stretched means the body will not be long as normally. Will not be in proper length and height. Okay, it will not be in length and uh, will not be in proper length. Yes, sir. Okay. It will not uh, have proper length of legs, uh, length of neck, like that. Okay. These all are all symptoms shown by the who is suffering with Down syndrome. If we suffering with Down syndrome. He will show these symptoms. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is one uh, symptom. We'll come to everything. Come to another uh, syndrome. The line filter syndrome. Yeah, line filter syndrome. This is another one. Yeah, till now what we discussed it is down syndrome sir it is a down syndrome no 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 till now this up to here it is down syndrome yes sir okay next syndrome is klein felter syndrome the next one is klein felter syndrome Okay. Yes, sir. Syndrome. Suppose if you take a male human, they will have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So they will have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Okay. This is normal. Yes. X Y is male, but here one extra X chromosome will be there. That means instead of having X Y, they will have X X Y. So here X one X is extra means. Yeah, one extra X chromosome will be there. Sir, the male should have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Yes, sir. But here, there is this male is having one extra X chromosome. That okay. means X Y instead of X Y, they are having X X Y. So here, one extra X chromosome is present. Okay. So when one extra X chromosome is present, okay, when one extra chromosome is present, so due to this extra X chromosome, so this individual will show symptoms. The symptoms are Group of symptoms. Yeah. Okay. 
the main generator system. is not well developed the male reproductive system is not actually it is a male yes sir only male yeah so here male reproductive system is not well developed yes sir and this male will show so some female characteristic features so he, he will show some female female characteristic features yes sir okay. even though he is a male he will show some female characteristic features so female characteristic features it is a so male yeah for male yes sir no it is male but they will show female features some female features not all yes sir okay so here uh, this is like this syndrome is present generally in males okay so this males will show some female characteristic features as well as the male reproductive system is not well developed yes okay so they cannot give birth to they cannot uh, give go for reproduction not go for reproduction so these are the symptoms of uh, klein filter syndrome okay. these are the symptoms of klein filter syndrome okay. klein filter syndrome remember is in klein filter syndrome one extra x chromosome is present okay yes sir and the we'll klein learn. filter syndrome syndrome is one x one extra x chromosome is present yeah in males yes sir in males one extra x chromosome is present this specifically seen in males yes sir and when you come to another syndrome sir klein turns and downs it is a scientific name yeah that is these are uh, actually the person who discovered this this is down is a person name yes sir klein filter is also person name they on their name only the name of the syndrome is kept yes sir Turner syndrome is also Turner is also a person name who discovered this syndrome. Okay. 
Okay, sir. Okay. So here, uh, we take Turner syndrome. Protect under syndrome. So it is generally seen in females. In females, there will be two X chromosomes. How many X chromosomes will be there? Two. Okay. Generally, in females, two X chromosomes will be there. Yes, sir. Okay. But here, only one X chromosome is present in this female. Only one X chromosome is present. In short, two X chromosomes, only one X chromosome is present. That means one Sir, X but here will be two chromosomes female. Generally females will have two X chromosomes but yes, in sir. this room one X chromosome only one is present one X chromosome is less. Yes sir. Only in females chromosomes will be there but here only one X chromosome is present that means one X chromosome is less yes sir okay. so due to lack of one X chromosome here one X chromosome is missing So they will show some symptoms. But due to lack of one X chromosome, so they will show some symptoms. Yes, sir. Okay. Like uh, under dollar. Female reproductive system. So, female reproductive system is not well developed. Okay. Yes, sir. And they are short. Okay. And they are sterile. Sterile means they cannot give birth to young ones. Sterile means they cannot give birth to young ones. Okay. Yes, sir. So they are short, underdeveloped, female report system, and they are sterile. So these are the symptoms shown by Turner syndrome. So these are the symptoms shown by Turner sir, what is, sir, what is sterile? Uh, sterile means they cannot give birth to young one. Okay. The, uh, the female cannot give birth to baby. They cannot give rise to a baby. Yes. Okay. That is called sterile. Okay. Yes, sir. So these are some examples of chromosomal mutations. 
Там е за Пенсов. Кромото му е Normal. Yes, sir. But here, this female will have, that is the female who is suffering with Turner syndrome will have one X chromosome. Instead of two, only one will be present. So one is less. Less. So when one X chromosome is less, it shows some symptoms. It shows some symptoms. Yes. Like underdeveloped female reproductive system. The female reproductive system is not well developed. Well developed. And next one, short, they are short in height. Yes, sir. Yeah. And they are sterile. They are sterile. Sterile. And they are sterile. Okay. Yes, sir. So till now, whatever we discuss, chromosomal or gene mutations. So these mutations are caused by mutagens. So mutagens is a symptoms. No, no, mutagens is not the symptom. Mutagens is the substance. Which cause mutations? Okay. Mutagens is the substance which cause symptoms. Okay. So mutations are caused by these mutagens. Yes, sir. Okay. These mutagens may be physical mutagens or chemical mutagens. So due to some chemicals, mutations may occur. Okay. Due to yes. some physical factors, some mutations may occur. Okay. So just we'll discuss some physical mutagens, some factors of physical mutagens. Which factors will cause um, mutations? Okay. Yes, sir. So here, yes, sir. Uh, if you take a physical mutagens, the first factor comes is T 
temperature. Next factor, high energy radiations. High energy radiations means ultraviolet rays. It is. Yes, ultraviolet rays. Hard X rays. Okay. Cosmic rays, rays coming from space. Sir, what is cosmic rays? Cosmic rays means the rays, the rays coming from space. Yes. We get from space. They are called cosmic rays. Okay. Ultraviolet rays. Hard X-rays, cosmic rays, they cause mutations. Okay. Yes, Even sir. temperature is also one factor which causes uh, mutations. Okay. How high temperature will cause mutations, we will see. How high temperature will cause mutations. So generally, generally, very high temperatures will cause mutations. So we'll see what will happen if the temperature is very high. Yes, sir. Suppose if the temperature is very high, so what will happen is mutation. Okay. It will affect DNA. High temperatures will affect DNA. Yes, sir. I told DNA will be like this, double stranded. Okay. In, in these two strands, there are hydrogen bonds. Yes, sir. Sir, higher yeah. temperature is also break the hydrogen bond. Yeah, it will break the hydrogen bonds. Due to this high temperature, what happens is the hydrogen bonds present between DNA strands will break. So, hydrogen yes. bonds will break. So when hydrogen bonds between uh, two strands of DNA break. Yes, sir. Okay. So this will affect the process uh, replication. Due to breaking of hydrogen bonds, it shows effect on replication. Transcription. I told uh, what is meant by replication and what is meant by transcription. Yes. Okay. So it disturbs this process, replication and transcription. Okay. Due to high temperature, uh, functions of DNA got disturbed, like replication, transcription, they get disturbed. The replication, transcription, they get disturbed. So replication, transcription, they will disturb to hydrogen bond. 
Yeah, suppose if hydrogen bonds are broken. Yes, sir. Hydrogen bonds are broken, the DNA will not be like this. It will be like this. Yes, sir. Okay. If it is like this, the process may not take place properly. Replication and transcription will not occur properly. So there will be disturbance in replication and transcription. It does not occur properly. Yes. Okay. So when it doesn't occur properly, it will affect other functions also. It will affect, obviously it will affect other functions. Suppose if you take uh, high energy radiations like ultraviolet rays, X-rays and cosmic rays. Yes. Suppose if you take X-rays. Generally, For scanning in uh, airports, they will use hot X-rays for scanning of luggage. Yes, sir. They will use they will use hot X-rays. Okay. So these hot X-rays, whatever the hot X-rays are there. So these hot X-rays will release electrons. From hot X-rays will get electrons with high speed. So that electrons will come with high speed. Yes. Okay. So these electrons which come with high speed, whatever the electrons coming with high speed, so they will affect the structure of chromosome. So they will affect the structure of chromosomes. So what happens is due to these high speed electrons suppose if chromosome is like this the chromosome is like this so these high speed electrons if they touch the chromosomes Here what happens is the chromosome may break. So it may become like this. The part of chromosome may break. It got separated. Normally it should be like this. But here the part of chromosome got separated. Yes, sir. So, these X-rays will break the chromosomes. It may lead to break of breaking of chromosomes. It will lead to uh, breaking, of breaking of chromosomes. Okay. Even if you take UV rays, coming from sunlight, sunlight, ultraviolet rays, UV means ultraviolet rays. Yeah. 
So this EV rays also will cause mutations. So whatever sir, EV rays, which one? Sir, no, ultraviolet rays will be cause the mutation. No, yeah, it will cause mutations. Yes, sir. Okay, whatever EV rays are coming from sunlight. Whatever EV rays are coming from sunlight. They are absorbed by they are absorbed by eighty nine nine time in cytosine. Okay. You will by nitrogen basis. They are absorbed by nitrogen basis. Okay. Yes, so when nitrogen basis absorb uh, EV rays. So these nitrogen bases become highly reactive. Generally, they are less reactive. High reactive? Yeah. When they become highly reactive, the DNA becomes unstable. Yeah, the DNA becomes unstable. Unstable. Okay. When DNA becomes uh, unstable, okay. so the structure of DNA collapses. structure of DNA is collapsed. So which leads to mutations. So due to ultraviolet rays, the uh, nitrogen bases become highly reactive. Yes, sir. Okay. When they become highly reactive, the DNA is unstable. Sir, so by highly reactive. Yeah, they when when the nitrogen bases take ultraviolet rays, the nitrogen bases become highly reactive. Generally, they are reactive. Okay. Yes, when nitrogen bases become highly reactive, the DNA becomes unstable. When the DNA becomes unstable. Unstable means DNA structure cannot be like this. Be like this. Sorry, DNA is separate. Yeah, the DNA strands get separated. Even yes. the may break. The DNA strands also will break. Yes, sir. Yeah, the DNA strands will break. When DNA strands will break, it causes mutation. Some mutations. 
So you understood this uh, temperature, X rays, and ultraviolet rays. Sir, repeat again. Sir, repeat again the ultraviolet rays. Uh, you want ultraviolet rays? Okay. Ultraviolet rays uh, are absorbed by nitrogen bases. In DNA, yes. there are nitrogen bases. Adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. Yes. So generally, DNA itself is less reactive. It is not highly reactive. Okay. But due to taking of these ultraviolet rays, yes, sir. it becomes highly reactive. Okay. Yes, sir. It becomes highly reactive. When a highly reactive means the DNA when is unstable. When DNA becomes unstable, both the strands get separated. Yes. Even the break also. Even the strands may break. When the strands break, it this mutations. Yes, sir. Strands break, it causes mutation. Mutations. Okay. So this uh, mutations means we can see changes in the DNA, and ultimately we can see changes in the persons or organism. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is how UV rays will make DNA unstable. Okay. Sir, high reactive. Sir, nitrogen base, it is a high reactive. React the high reactive. Uh, UV rays will make them highly reactive. Yes. Then the less reactive, but EV rays will make them highly reactive. So DNA is unstable. Mm. Yeah. DNA, so DNA is stable. It's stability. Yes. Okay. Even the same thing happens to X rays. X rays will break chromosomes. Okay. X rays will be affect the structure of chromosomes. Uh, it will affect the structure of chromosomes. It will break the chromosomes. The high speed touch the chromosomes, so chromosomes is break. Yeah, when you use uh, when hot X rays are used, okay. from hot X rays, high speed electrons are released. Yes, sir. Hard X rays. Okay, these high when high speed electrons touch the chromosomes, that is when they come in contact with chromosomes, the yes. chromosome because it will be coming with high speed. Okay. And if you take temperature, temperature will break hydrogen bonds. Temperature will break hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bond. Yeah. So this is how this uh, they will affect the, these X rays, ultraviolet rays. Temperature, high temperature will affect chromosomes. Sir, yes, sir. Effect of chromosomes. Okay, which leads to mutations. So which causes mutations? If the chromosome structure is affected or DNA structure is affected. It leads to mutations. Yes, sir. Okay. So today, whatever we discussed, you understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll meet you again in the next class. Okay, sir. Okay. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Sir. Good night, sir. Bye.